So I am going to try and give you a really comprehensive review of the Kurt Geiger Double XL Flap because it is the bag that I get asked the most questions about out of anything on my channel. Hello, 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 and the warmest of welcome to today's video. For those who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, fab to have you here. For those who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you enjoy my videos. I put out videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion, to like more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm all about living life loud and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you and just celebrating who you are. Celebrating yourself and of course celebrating others. So what are we talking about today? Today I am sharing with you my thoughts on the Kurt Geiger Double XL Flap and why I think it's a really fantastic bag. I get asked the most questions quite possibly about this bag and it's the bag that I would say, since I've been on YouTube, I've had the most individuals reach out to me to say they bought off the back of having seen me with mine, me review them, me show the latest collection. Because I don't own every double XL flap that has hit the market, okay? They're not all winners for me. However, I do own five. So, why don't I quickly show you mine and then we'll talk about the details and I'll show you them in chronological order of when I got them. So, the first one to enter the collection, which I've had for over two years, is this grey double XL. Um, this I bought pre-loved um, just because I wanted to test out the style. It was still fairly expensive. It was £150, I want to say when at the time they were retailing for 249. So I paid a, a fair fair amount for it. An older, I think probably one of the more original um, iterations of the double XL, but I love it. It does me really well. I've used this for day, I've used this clubbing. It's a great item. It's in its dust in a dust bag. This isn't the dust bag it came with. Is it? No, it didn't come with a dust bag. What did it? I can't remember, it was two years ago. But it's in a dust bag because this one stays in the wardrobe because it's not on display. I don't tend to grab it as much, but it fits very specific purposes and I use it for that. I've also obliterated it because I put something in here, I think it must have been, I can't even remember what it was, and I split the lining. So the inside of this is a little worse for wear and that's why it's also a little bit slouchy because some of the stuff <laughs> came out of it. Anyway, moving on. That's bag number one. Second one I purchased was this denim. Again, a pre-loved purchase. Um, and I liked this one because I felt that it was unique. And I had seen it on their European site. Um, it felt quite unique. i not a gold hardware fan. I say this every time I show the bag. But actually, I think it's the hardware that makes the most sense against this tie-dye denim. I love a denim bag. Um, I like the structure that this has retained. I like that it's fun and easy. It's not one that I use all the time. I've used it once this year. It featured in my barely used bags of last year. But I think in summer, I will try to gravitate towards it a little bit more, especially as the novelty of my Louis Vuitton Noé has, has worn off. I was using that a lot last year. So I think now these two will work very well in unison together as, as part of my collection, as part of my outfit. So this is number two. Number three is the one that is currently sat behind me, and this is the Kensington Double XL. I believe this is one of the softs, and it is in nylon, and I love this nylon. It's so easy, it's so carefree, it's so hassle-free. I love the shine to it, this beautiful graffiti print, so fun. I actually have um, a like Christmas ornament that is this... Um, inflatable dog motif and not from Kurt Geiger it was from John Lewis um, but just really good fun KGL all of their signatures with the rainbow um, I just think it's absolutely fantastic just a bit different a bit edgy a bit fun I'm going to a party tonight and I might use this I'm debating between two which I use and I might use this one um, because I actually really like it and I think it worked well with my outfit however the other one that I'm debating using is the fourth one that I bought, and that is this Rainbow XXL. 
and this is absolutely stunning. Oh, that's where that bag is. I always lose that bag. The Le Piage um, large top handle um, from Longchamp. This is a lovely, lovely item. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Um, the colours are gorgeous. The gunmetal hardware, the leather here, this just screams fun. It screams personality. I think it's an absolutely beautiful bag. And I love this magenta flap on the interior. I'm so glad that they used pink as the core colour um, for the accents of the bag because pink is my vibe. Um, but the rest of the colours are beautiful. I mean, this green, this blue, the yellow, all of it. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. And even the stitching is multicolour um, and then you've got multicolour gems in here beautiful attention to detail and last but by no means least my most recently used double xl but it's my most recently purchased the black faux fur i used this recently um, when i went to edinburgh and i absolutely loved it it was a conversation starter it was comfortable. I actually used it as a big clutch just under my arm like that. I felt that that was a bit of a vibe. Um, but then I had the practicality of being able to carry it like this. In fairness, I tend to do that um, if I'm carrying it by hand or if I just couldn't be bothered. I did put it on my shoulder occasionally, um, just, just when I was trying to kind of maneuver um, in spaces um, and I didn't want to have to carry it like this and move like this. Beautiful, nonetheless. Fabulous piece and look at that shimmer. Oh, stunning, stunning. So for the purposes of today's video and just talking to you about what I think about the bag, I am going to use my double XL in the rainbow. You can tell when I last used this actually because it still has some mail in it that I got um, from Christmas. <laughs> so I haven't used this in a fair while. The back are a singular magnetic earring. As you all know, I was testing magnetic earrings for a while before I went for the fully fledged. So this is a leather double XL from Kurt Geiger. Point number one, Kurt Geiger, fantastic brand. Great brand to buy into, friendly staff, lovely stores, wide range of products. They are constantly reinventing their products, bringing out new lines. They explore new textures, new materials, and I love what they stand for. They are about bringing community together. They are about empowering people. It's not an exclusionary brand. That is not in their nature. Um, it actually says it in the bag. Does it say in, it, in this one? Yes, it does. Design is what we do. Kindness is who we are. Design is what we do. Kindness is what we are. Okay. So that is their mantra. That is in their bag. Fantastic, fantastic brand absolutely love it. That's point number one, you're buying into a great brand. Point number two, let's talk pricing before we get into anything else. These have gone through price increases over the years. So as I mentioned, when I bought my first one pre-loved, they were retailing for 249. That equivalent bag would now be around 319 or 329. So good news, black leather, silver hardware, 299. Um, all black Kensington Drench, 299. Kensington Software Gold Hardware, 299. It's 319 if you want the rainbow with the grained leather. So you're looking at a kind of 30%, not a little bit more, maths, do quick maths, Nick. No, about 30% price increase um, over the years, which I don't think is terrible. As long as I've been buying these two years, 30%, okay, fine but you can get them for fantastic sale prices if you hold your nerve. I have not bought all of mine on sale. I have bought them retail. Um, I've not only got double XL size, I've got mediums. I've bought them retail, I bought the soft retail, but then I also bought these two in their seasonal sales. This I got for a third of its original price. This I think I got for half its original price both of which well worth it. They were worth more, but we love a bargain. We love to just hold our nerve, particularly when it's pieces that you're not 100% sure will be regular items that you wear. I don't know why that sentence was so difficult for me to say. Um, when you're not sure it will be an item that you regularly use, I like to try and bring the cost per wear down. 
which means that instead of wearing it more, I pay less for it. So that's where I like to go with that. But it's a really excellent, excellent item. Point number three, the quality is really good. I have never had an issue with one of mine. And I, yes, I've split the lining of one, but that was me who did that. That wasn't the fault of the bag. Um, I would say it's really good quality. And I like to buy brands that are good quality. It's why I like Longchamp. It's why I like Aspinall. It's why I like Mulberry. Because I think for the price point, you're getting a well-made, well-thought-through item. And I would say Kurt Geiger is the same. For the price point, you are getting a really well-made piece. And if you compare this to Dior, for example, um, will it be the same? I don't know. I don't, I don't own a Dior bag. I couldn't possibly tell you. But as a user of these items, I am very, very pleased. And don't get me wrong, I'm picky. I am fairly discerning when it comes to picking and choosing items. I like things to, to be long lasting. I like things to feel substantial and weighty and well made. So these fit the bill for me. And I have the, I have a full range of materials. I have four different materials in these bags. I have leather, nylon, denim, and faux fur. So it's not like I'm not testing the range, okay? Tried and tested. It's versatile. You can wear it in a number of different ways. You can wear it doubled up on the shoulder like so very comfortable one of my preferences you can wear it long shoulder because the strap doubles like so long shoulder it can also go crossbody if you're doing the same thing alternatively you can tuck in one of the handles i'm not going to do this very well but this is you know fine tuck in one of the handles and make it a bit of a top handle alternatively instead of tucking in the handle just wrap it around your hand and it's a top handle like that. And that's not actually wildly uncomfortable. I do this quite a lot, even when I'm using it for the day. So it's just a very easy bag to use and you can change the way that you wear it throughout the course of a day or an evening. And I really like that. It's why I like flat bags in general. I find them to be a very versatile piece. Um, this, this is a great one. I absolutely love it. Next up, it is practical. Is it as practical as, let's say, a Boston bag of the equivalent dimensions? This is around 37 centimetres in width. No, it's not. But is it practical as flat bags go? Absolutely. And it has two main compartments, front compartment here, back compartment split by the central divider, and then you've got this slip pocket in the back. The slip pocket is good for a card holder, maybe keys, a small phone, if you've got a smaller phone. This back pocket, I think, is really good for anything that you want to keep a little bit more secure or that you don't need to grab quite so readily or easily. And then the front pocket is where I would say you put all of your essentials. That's where I put things like cosmetics, sunglasses, keys. To be honest, most things tend to go in this front pocket for me. Um, alternatively, if you carry an iPad or a small laptop or a ThinkPad, you could probably fit that in the back. If not, you could always put that in the front. It is, as flat bags go, pretty practical. And then you can just easily kind of throw it on your shoulder and away you go. These made a big difference when they put these leather um, straps in because it just stops it digging in, whereas the chains, if you don't have these, can dig in a little bit. Um, so these do make a big difference, but it's a very easy to use bag. And the last point is the variations that you can buy these in, because I think you can express so much personality with this particular bag. As I've shown you, I've got five and they are all so different. They've all got different design cues as well. So some have a much larger eagle emblem, others have a much smaller one. Some have the, on the back, some have a plaque that says Kurt Geiger London, others it is printed. Um, some have a, um, a gunmetal hardware, whereas others have a gold hardware. Some, um, they might have a slightly different um, approach to the interior. If it's a sequin piece, it might have some sequins that run through this. Um, if it's, you know, and you've got kind of the, the faux fur here, um, which again is the same, but is just a, all black instead. It's just a great way of being able to express personality through your bag. And I appreciate that the size of this might not be for everybody, but honestly, it is the one that I recommend from the brand. Like I said, it's the one that most regularly people have gone on to buy. I just find it to be so easy to use and so versatile. And 
I've used them for nights out, I've used it for day. It just for me is another bag that I feel like can do it all. Can each style do it all? Like each variation I've got, maybe not so much, but as a combination for what I'm paying for these particular bags, I am so thrilled with them. These will not be the last that I own. I absolutely love them. I was at one point looking at getting rid of this one. And then I had a bit of a talking to myself and I said, why? For what reason? I still really love it. I haven't used it as much as I could. It hasn't reached its full potential with me. We, ha we haven't, you know, styled it enough. We haven't enjoyed um, one another enough. So I decided to keep it because it's it's a great item. Would it have sold? Yeah, I think it would have sold quite quickly because that sold out and people liked it. People wanted to get hold of it, but I'm still loving it. This is a great brand, a great series of bags and one that I definitely think you should look at if you're looking for a well-made, well-priced flat bag that screams some personality, or you can get them in slightly more subtle versions. But for me, I don't think they're quite as fun. I don't think they're quite as in the spirit of the brand. But if you're looking for a great flat bag, look no further than Kurt Geiger. So there we are, everyone. Thank you so much, as always, for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care now. Bye. Mwah.